My hips are out of alignment. My back, my back is all out of alignment. I was told I have straight neck. My neck has no curve. What do I do? I feel like something just needs to be popped back into place. It feels like something is always going out of place. That'll be 37 and a half sessions to fix all of that. How about we cut all that shit out? So many of my patients have been to other providers and when they get that x-ray, the, the provider, whether it's a doctor, a chiropractor, physical therapist, they go, oh, well look at that. You see how your hip is up? Your, your hips are out of alignment. But the problem with that is that it doesn't actually mean anything. And let me tell you why. Those very same patients that come to me and say, my doctor, my chiro, my PT said my, my hips are out of alignment or my back is out of alignment or my hip feels like it's about to pop out. Those people are dealing with pain. When we deal with pain, our body will compensate and change how it moves or how it sits on a day-to-day -day basis, right? So if you're having hip and low back pain, say on the right side, and your hip is up on the right side, yeah, that's your compensation. So when you do an x-ray, that's what it's gonna show. But it's not that you have an out of line hip. I mean, technically it's out of line, but all you need to do, watch, 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 real quick. Just really watch this. So see that my hip is out of alignment? Oh my God. I'm straight. Look at that. Boom. The point here is that if your hips are elevated, if your shoulders elevated, if your back is